Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video. And today I wanted to make a video to share my experience with Microsoft 365 uh, personal, okay? And so my experience is mostly as an online digital solo entrepreneur. And so more specifically about the print on demand seller. And, and so basically I wanted to make this video to show you what is possible with with this subscription and maybe you're thinking about subscribing to this service and so my experience can be valuable to you okay and so it's up to you to decide if you're going to subscribe for it or not and as for myself i i had a really great experience with and i still do and so personally, I really love Microsoft 365 Personal and the subscription that I have right now is uh, the personal plan, okay? So that, that's basically for one person. And as you can see, this is the, the pricing. So that's basically uh, 79 Canadian dollars per year or $80 per month. And so personally, that's a very good price. I think this is a really, really good, really good price. and. The reason it's such a good price is because it basically includes everything that one can possibly need on to thrive on the internet okay and so if you're planning to do stuff in, on the internet maybe create a business or be really active on the internet uh, maybe as an entrepreneur or whatever i think that microsoft 364 365 can really benefit you okay and so I'm gonna go through each app and explain how I actually use them and, and maybe that can give you an idea, okay? And so the first app that you, you have access to when you subscribe to the service is the uh, Microsoft 365 app, okay? And, the, and so basically in this app, you're presented with basically anything that you want to create okay so as you can see you with this app you can basically create anything that you want here okay you can like and by clicking on one template and maybe one app it's going to open the corresponding app and you're, you're you're going to be able to create the thing that you want to create okay and so to be honest i don't really use this app because when i for example, when I want to create a video, I simply use, I simply click on the video app directly. And if I want to open my Excel sheet, then I directly click on Excel. But I think this is a really cool app if, you know, there's, an, there's everything in it, okay? And so that's basically what it is. And the second app that you have access to is Word, okay? And so basically every, everybody knows about Word. Uh, you just create some page and basically I don't really use it for my business personally but if you're someone that use a, use Word a lot or maybe you need to write some stuff or whatever that could be useful to you and so usually when I need to write some notes or write some text uh, one note that I'm going to talk a little bit about later is you is usually what I need okay and so I personally use OneNote instead of using Microsoft Word, okay? So that's that's for Microsoft Word. And then there's Excel, and you most likely know about Excel. And I mostly use Excel for my business report. And I want to keep track. I want to keep track of all my expenses. I want to keep track of all my revenues. And I mostly use. Excel to do business reports and everything related to my business and uh, you know just a bunch of numbers and make some calculations okay and so as an entrepreneur that's how I use Excel and I'm going I also use Excel to keep some lists sometimes I keep some CSVs for example to keep some list of for example print on demand niches or some things like that there's also another app which is PowerPoint, with that, which I don't really use as well, but I'm assuming that if you're someone that creates a lot of presentations or whatever, then I'm assuming that can be useful to you, okay? And as a side note also, yes, you can create presentations with PowerPoint, 
but sometimes I also create presentation using Microsoft Whiteboard, okay? And so, and so in my last video, for example, I created this, this board here about uh, the website. And so that's just another tool that you can use as well. But Microsoft Whiteboard, I don't think it's part of the uh, Microsoft 365 subscription. So I'm just saying that as a side note if you need to create a presentation, okay? And another app that you, you can use with the Microsoft 365, and it is obviously Outlook, okay? And so Outlook is such an amazing tool that I use all the time. And the reason it's so cool is because you can see all your emails here. For example, here I have four emails, right? And so I see all my emails at once here. And so it's just a great tool to have because Without this tool, I would always be like checking all different emails and different and different websites to check all my emails. And so having Outlook allows me to have all my emails, both Gmail accounts and also Microsoft Outlook and Outmails accounts. So it allows me to have all my emails synchronized at one place. And I love using the app because personally, I just love the app, okay? And so Outlook, that's really useful. And I also think that Microsoft recently launched a new uh, Outlook app that is free, I think. I think this one is free. They I think they recently launched this new app. And I think this new Outlook app is, is basically free. I think you don't need the subscription to use it. And so if you're someone that is looking to optimize your email or whatever, maybe you can look into this, okay? And so, but this here, this is quite new actually, this new Outlook for Windows, but you can check it out, okay? And so the next app that I want to talk about is OneNote, okay? OneNote, I use OneNote a lot, okay? Just as right now, I'm using OneNote right now, but this is an app that I use a lot. And that this is one of the main reasons actually why I subscribe to this service, because you see like, let's check for example, Evernote. I, I, I was hesitating between subscribing to Evernote and and OneNote, but you see like, where's the uh, pricing here? Feature, OneNote, personal, personal. <clears throat> pricing, just stay with me here. Okay, so as you can see like, Evernote, just Evernote, which is the uh, an alternative to OneNote, but you see just Evernote is $13.33 per month and you know like Microsoft 365 is $8 per month and so just by using the service here you're saving money okay and so I think this is really cool okay so I use a lot of notes I love writing notes one of the reason why I use uh, one note a lot is to do my daily journaling okay and so every day i have a template i'm going to show it to you i have this template here which i i use this template every day i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on so that you can see and so basically this is a template that i do my journaling and also i keep track of my gym workouts or whatever and it's just something that i use every day to journal my thoughts and my own my own daily goals and so i write everything in it and this is really cool i love i love doing this but this is my own template that i that i that i created but also another thing is that i use one note when i have some thoughts and I'm confused about a certain subject. I love writing. I love just writing my thoughts into the software because it allows me to think and make conclusions about my confusions. And so, by putting your thoughts into this app, I'm a, it allows me to bring clarity. If that makes sense, okay. And another reason why I use OneNote is that in this software, I'm gonna write the big lines 
that I'm going to talk, for example, in these script and in, in these YouTube videos, for example, here, as you can see, this is my script that I created for, for this video, for example. And so I just wrote a bunch of lines that I wanted to talk about, and then I just make a video about it, okay? And so this is pretty cool. And it allows me to create the script and also keep useful information and useful ideas in this software. And so if, for example, later on, I need to uh, come back to this information and whatever, for example, um, for example, uh, I do food delivery on when in my free time, and I need to keep track, for example, of my millage that I do with my car for my business, because since I do deliveries, this is a business expense, and so I keep track of all my uh, millage with, that I do with my car, and so I keep this in one note. Okay, and so that's pretty useful as well. And I also keep a bunch of information and a bunch of uh, ideas that I just keep in this app. And so OneNote, okay, which is the equivalent of Evernote, I use this app a lot, okay? And so this is really cool. And another app that I started using quite recently, okay, it is uh, ClipChamp, okay? And ClipChamp, I'm gonna open the the website here because I'm actually filming using the app right now. And so ClipChamp is a new app that you can basically do everything related to videos, okay? You can basically do anything related to videos. And what I mean by that is, first of all, you can record the video, which I'm basically recording right now with the app. So you can record the video and then you can edit the video and you can also customize the video by adding a bunch of elements and a bunch of music. As you can see, like you can record using the camera and the screen and there's a bunch of templates and there's a bunch of music that you can use and a bunch of stock videos all included in the software. And I just think it's really cool because then you can customize the like you can record edit and add tons of customization for your videos all within the same software okay and so this is just an amazing tool to create videos and i'm using this software right now to record this video as i'm talking right now and and uh, the thing that you have to keep in mind with this uh, software here is that there there are two subscription okay and so basically you have the basic Microsoft 365 subscription but there is also a, um, an extra subscription if you want more features about the software and so I don't know for me I think the the basic one is included with Microsoft 365 is really cool and you get a bunch of things and it's just amazing. And it allows you also to upload directly to your favorite platform or social media. And so for example, once I'm, I'm done recording this video and editing it, I can upload the video directly to YouTube, okay? And so there's no playing with files or whatever. And so that's just really cool, okay? Amazing software. And also a new app that is currently in in development and it is quite new and I'm really excited about is Microsoft Designer, okay? And so Microsoft Designer allows you to uh, create designs and images, mostly using AI, but I'm just really, really excited about this and it's quite, it's still quite new, but I hope that they're able to uh, add features and, and make it better really quick because you see like, I hope that one day I'm able to use Microsoft Designer instead of Canva, okay? Because right now I'm using Canva uh, a lot to create designs and also to schedule posts on social media. And so I hope that at some point I'll be able to like use Microsoft Designer, okay? And so again, if you already don't know, um, Canva pricing is really is really expensive, okay? Canva plan is really expensive, okay? It's like 
uh, let me get the monthly. It's $19, uh, basically $19, okay, per month. It's really expensive. I think personally it's really expensive. And so if I'm able to cancel my Canva subscription and simply use Microsoft Designer part of my as a part of my Microsoft 365 personal subscription, that would be just amazing for me, okay? That would be like amazing. And so I hope that they are able to improve this application and I'm really excited about this. And also another thing that I use here, it, and it is um, Microsoft Editor, okay? And so basically here, this is just a, an extension for your browser that you use. And it's basically like checking your grammars and spelling and all of these things. And so I think it's just pretty cool. I was, before using this, I was using Grammarly, which is a, a great alternative as well. But since now I have Microsoft Editor, I simply switch for Microsoft Editor, but it's basically the same thing as Grammarly. And so if you need to write a lot of things, either on social media or maybe some emails or whatever, you can use Microsoft Editor as the as a soft as a browser extension. Okay, so that's included in the software. Also, another thing that is included with the, the subscription is uh, Microsoft Defender. Okay, and so Microsoft Defender is basically an anti an antivirus. Okay, and so. Basically, you just install install this on all your devices and computers and even on your phone and that's it. You don't have to do anything and it's really easy to install and like you just install it and it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty simple. Okay, let's just open it. Oh, I don't think this is that. Defender. It's pretty straightforward, basically. You just install it and you see i'm good right now there's it's pretty pretty obvious i never had any problem with it and you can also protect your uh, phone and all your devices and for, for example i installed this on this computer that i have and i also installed it on my laptop and also installed the anti virus on my uh, phone so basically i just have the anti virus microsoft defender on all my devices which is i think is pretty cool right and so the last app that i want to talk about is onedrive okay onedrive and so before having this subscription i was using google drive and when i subscribed to uh, Microsoft 365, I basically switched for OneDrive, okay? And so it's basically the same thing, but the only difference is that OneDrive is is built in Microsoft, uh, Windows 11, so I feel like it's way, it works way better than, than Google Drive, and it has a little bit more features, and because it's just built in, and it just works perfectly with Windows 11, and so that's pretty cool. And so with this subscription, you, it allows you to get one terabyte of cloud storage, and so basically one drive, you have one terabyte of cloud storage, and so that's a lot of storage. I mean, I use it every day or whatever, but that's a really, that's a lot of storage. And so for example, for me, I mostly use my cloud storage to store my print-on-demand designs in this uh, storage. Maybe I can show you here. Okay, so I mostly um, keep my print-on-demand uh, design here. I just have a bunch of folders, but that's where I keep all my old print on demand designs and so this is stored there i'm not sure if i'm going to use them at some point but this is stored there and also keep all my business receipt because i need the receipt since i'm an entrepreneur i use my receipt to get some tax deduction at the end of the year and so because of that i have to keep my receipt and so i put all my receipt in the one drive okay and so even sometimes it sometimes it's on the computer i just download some file on the computer but sometimes 
I have some business expenses for, for example, like some, some store, I go at the store and I buy something at the store for my business, then I use my phone to save the receipt on my OneDrive, okay? So that's pretty cool. And, and so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I use Microsoft 365. And I just think it's an amazing, it's a, I just think it's an amazing subscription, especially for me since I do a lot of things and I'm a, since I'm an entrepreneur and I do a lot of things. And so I create videos, I, I design some, some images and all these things I, I am able to create some notes and i'm able to have a lot of storage and so it includes everything that you need at a very reasonable price and i just think it's amazing okay and also this subscription allows you to download the app okay and so for example google all the application for google they you cannot really download and work offline but the, all the apps for Microsoft 365, you're able to download them offline on your computer and work off, offline. And so it's a different experience than always working online and always in the browser. It allows you to work offline and have your own standalone app on your computer or even on your phone, okay? And so and, uh, that's another thing that I want to talk about too, because you see, I'm, I'm talking mostly here about the computer, but all of these apps, most of them are also available on the phone, okay? And so, for example, the antivirus is is uh, available on the phone, and OneNote to create some note or whatever is also available on the phone. And so that's a really cool thing to, to use, okay? And so all these apps, yes, you can use them on the computer, but you can also use them on the phone. And so OneDrive, you can also use it on the phone. And it's pretty cool. And in the end, I think the only thing that that is missing in this package, in this subscription, from my own experience, is I would like to have a VPN. It would be so great if Microsoft 365 would include also a VPN, okay? And I, I know that Microsoft Edge includes uh, some sort of VPN in its browser, but it's not exactly the best. And, you know, I also know that uh, Google also created its own VPN. It's, it's called Google VPN 1, I think. And so Google created a VPN and I think it would be great to have a simple VPN. And, you know, the VPN made by Google, it's not the best VPN, uh, but it's a simple one that just does the job from time to time. Okay, for example, like if I go work in a coffee shop or in the library, I would prefer using a VPN to you know, have some sort of protection on the public net network. And so I think that's the only thing that is missing in this package, having a VPN, a simple VPN. It doesn't have to be like super big and with all the feature, but just a simple VPN, probably just like VPN by Google. But not a thing that you have to keep in mind is companies like, like Google and Microsoft, they benefit from your data and so i understand that they don't necessarily want you to use a vpn because a vpn basically you're not giving them the data that they potentially want okay and so there's such big companies that they want your data and if you if microsoft is to create a vpn then it would basically hurt itself if that makes sense right and so i understand but it's just that i would love to see a vpn in this package but overall i just think it's a great package and it's i think personally it's all worth it's all worth the money and so that's basically how i use the microsoft 365 uh, subscription and i hope that you gain some sort of value in this video and let me know if you have any question okay Peace.